So today we are exploring one of the coolest and oldest neighborhoods of Seoul, Ulchiro. <laughs> So right now guys, I'm sitting at this cafe. This is super super famous because the BTS boys have done a photo shoot here. I literally just walked by it by chance and there's no one in here and so I feel like I have it all to myself. I have a cold iced coffee with me right now. Very good. So Ulchiro is a 3.5 kilometer road cutting through the heart and the center of Seoul in the district of Jungu. I made a neighborhood guide video about Shindang which is also in Jungu. Go watch that video if you haven't. Since 2018, Ulchiro has become like a super trendy, super hipster place that all the youngsters come and flock to. It's a very unique blend of Seoul's industrial vibe and the new modern urban chic. It's an area full of oil stained factories, printing shops and electrical stores as well as very hipster cafes and speakeasy bars hidden away which very much draws the younger crowd here. So Seoul was devastated during the course of the Korean War and Ulchiro which was a very popular district at the time of the Japanese occupation of Korea it was very badly run down during the war. This whole center of Seoul, Myeongdong, Ulchiro, it was bombed really really heavily for two days in 1950 as the North Korean People's Army they set fire to buildings. However as Seoul was actively rebuilt after the ceasefire construction materials dealers gathered in Ulchiro. So along the Cheonggyecheon stream and around this whole area a bunch of military supply stores popped up as well as wood, furniture, hardware, paint and wallpaper shops all popped up along Ulchiro. And on my way here I saw this but in this area there's the hugest concentration of printing shops in Ulchiro. Textbooks, paper, diaries and such. I would say Ulchiro really comes to life in the summer as people flock to the Dogari Alley. This is an alley with the outside seating with the plastic chairs and the plastic tables and people just come and have cold beers with snacks and Dogari which means dried pollock like dried fish and since the original Ujiro printing workers that worked here in the 60s they were living on a very low income and so the Nogari Ali which served very cheap drink and food was perfect for those workers who ended their hard day of work and they would come and sit in these like plastic chairs and tables on the outside and they would finish their day off like that. Nowadays young people just come to enjoy the vibe of the outside seatings. I know a lot of my foreigner friends when they come to Seoul they want to experience this. Another notable spot in this area is the Seoul Plaza and this was in the K-drama Vincenzo. It was built in 1968 and it was the first electronic stall in Korea and actually it was the biggest one in East Asia at that time apparently. They sell various electronic components like karaoke machines, entertainment machines, various lighting equipment and such. The area's bar and cafe scene just kind of started accidentally almost. A lot of the buildings around here are very old and since the rent on these buildings were relatively cheap compared to other parts of Seoul, artists who were fleeing their gentrified neighborhoods they all kind of came to Ujiro instead and apparently some artists decided to either sell drinks or rent out a corner or like a space of their studios to make extra money and so a lot of these cafes in very unassuming buildings and you'll usually find them on like the second third fourth floor these businesses they really rely on the power of social media for people to find it and come because from the outside you would not guess that there is like a very hipster very pretty cafe inside so they very much heavily rely on Instagram and on I guess influence like me to tell you guys about it. I've been hanging around here a lot actually recently and it's close to my house and I love it so yeah let's go and explore Ujiro together. So I'm currently standing outside all these tacos. This is a taco place that's been all over my Instagram feed. It's super busy. I'm here on a Thursday afternoon. I've been waiting for about 20 minutes already. It's hot as shit today. <laughs> so I'm doing this for y'all. But I've heard this might be some of the best tacos you'll find in Seoul and I'm very particular about my tacos. Also, I'm doing a delivery for a friend. He's been in some of my vlogs, Tang Yeop Kim. <laughs> uh, he works nearby here and I'm gonna just get some food for him and like drop it off as well, so. The guys that work there, they're like super. Oh, me. Yeah, let's go. So, Uchiro is like a mix of the old and the new. A lot of finance guys around here, and my friend is one of them. So, let's drop him off some tacos. Tang <laughs> Kim, this is your third time appearing. Try the taco. Good? <laughs> 
so I'm actually doing this in their office because it's hot as hell outside and it's very nice and cool in here so we have the oldies taco it has all like avocado sauce salsa red sauce onions lots of cilantro which I love cilantro I can't get enough let's give it a try see if it's worth the hype there's so much meat in there it's super thick and juicy really flavorful now the juicier the messier the taco the better it is and this is definitely not like a first date type of food because it's dripping absolutely everywhere so much onions which i love can't get enough and this is all made with korean ingredients i've heard oh Hi. Yeah, Hi, nice to meet you. I will shake your hand, yes. but like... It's always weird because I, I have got a feeling to know you, but you don't know me. <laughs> have you had so, lunch? Yeah, already, yes. Okay. <laughs> now for the other one, it's called Baria Taco. And this one is a hard shell. And it has mozzarella, cheddar cheese, red salsa sauce. Mm. This definitely feels more sinful like in calories and it's because it's like deep fried but it's delicious. If I have to choose which one I like, I think I prefer the first one but this is just as good but like, oh, I can't do that well with spicy. This, is, this has definitely a kick. But look how much meat is in there. I would say definitely worth a try in Seoul in Ujiro. Shit today. Tonggye Chun Stream is really pretty to come in nighttime as well. A lot of couples come here on dates, on for walks and stuff. I'm single. I actually think it's super nice that in the middle of this like bustling city, you have this like really nice, peaceful. There's not that much green space in Seoul, so to have this kind of spot where you people can come out and just chill for a bit, get away from the hustle and bustle, I think it's really nice. So, there, behind me, Horangi. Oh my god, this is quite hard to find. So this is on like the second floor of the Seoul Plaza. You're not going to be able to find this unless you really come and look for it, so let's go in there. Okay, it's really good coffee. Really good. This might be like the best ice latte I've had in Korea. Oh my God. Super creamy. Just really good coffee. Vibes. So I I really think it's this building behind me but there is no sign pointing to it so unless you really look for this place on Instagram you know where to come you won't be able to find it. This blog is saying it's on the fourth floor of this building so let's go inside. So literally no sign anywhere walking up to the fourth floor So, it's just this nondescript door. It's really unclear. They have this really famous cilantro cake, which I like cilantro, but that's a bit too much for me, that. So I ordered the pink dill cake, which is their other like signature, so. <laughs> four layers of chocolate cake it has raspberry jam hazelnuts and like a dark chocolate ganache so oh my god let's try it. 
first of all, the texture is really good. It's not dry, it's very moist, rich cake. And the raspberry comes in right at the end. And I love anything fruity. So this is a really good cake for me. It's not one of those like Instagram hype cakes where it just looks pretty, but it tastes not good. This actually tastes really good. So if you're in Uchiro, walk up to the fourth floor, Wonhyeongdo Cafe, that's the name. Really good. So because it feels like a shame just to show you like eating spots and like printing shops and stuff, I'm on my way to go find this vintage clothing store. Apparently celebrities go there too. It's called Opal. This is how hard it is to find you walk up these stairs. That shop was really impressive. If you're looking for really good secondhand vintage finds, Opal is the place you want in Ujiro. So now I'm going for dinner with Danny. We're going to have Pyongyang Naengmyeon, which is actually my first time trying. So I'm actually really excited about this. Let's go and have Pyongyang Naengmyeon. <laughs> okay, so we are me and Danny behind the camera, but we are at Ureok, and this is one of the oldest Pyongyang Naengmyeon places in Seoul. It opened in 1946. <laughs> It's my first time trying North Korean cold noodles and we have to go in now, so let's go! It's huge! <laughs> Daddy, it's your birthday tomorrow! What the heck? I'm so excited for all the gifts! You can boil up. Tea? It's really warm rice water, I guess. It's really nice. So this place has been on the Michelin Guide, so, so you know it's highly recommended. I think a lot of famous people come here too. And I'm very excited to try my first North Korean noodle. And Puyububu, of course. Danny's on a diet, so he can't eat carbs. No. <laughs>
night outside seating pub thing that ha happens all throughout Korean summers. Man Son Hopu is like the monopoly. They have like 10 franchises in this area they've taken over. We can't sit there because there's too many people. We'll, we'll try to find somewhere. And Dogari is dried pollock, dried fish. It's very cheap, usually drunk with like a cold beer and that's what everyone comes for in the summer. It used to be filled with like these kind of seats and tables. It was like a space where males and females, they come after work. <laughs> There's lots of companies around here. Yeah, yeah. And they start seeking for their mates. <laughs> Mating call. <laughs> yes. And there's this. This is gochujang. Yeah. This is mayonnaise. Yeah. So, I'm ending the day with a very cheap and cheerful worker snack with a beer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of Ulchiro. If you want to visit, I really recommend that you should. And I'll see you in the next neighborhood video of Seoul. Done.